Hey guys, uh, welcome to another review. I'm going to see uh, if I can do another one after this one. But first, let's start out with the first review of the night. I got a request to test System Shield. So I went, uh, downloaded a trial. Uh, you can see yeah, the trial there, so we'll continue the evaluation. I uh, installed it. Everything is just like it comes. Nothing's been changed, nothing's been messed with. show you here under the protection settings everything is default uh, the one interesting setting I did notice is use artificial intelligence that's unchecked from the default probably because it produces a lot of false positives you have an email on-demand auto scan updates and preferences show you that the definitions are up to date there you go newest definitions and let's do some testing here. Uh, it uses about 18 to 19 megs just sitting here. Let's show you guys that real quick. Uh, these two I think are, are part of the uh, program but they're basically nothing and there's the main program right there. So that's kind of the usage that you get out of it at about 18 19 megs. I have some uh, fairly new malware here. Let's open up Internet Explorer and get started here. Okay, it looks like that one made it through. Don't see anything out of that one either. Uh, that's a packed file and I don't have anything to unpack a dot RAR file so we'll skip that one. I know it's got some Trojans in it but I didn't install anything on the uh, virtual machine here to unpack it and open it up. Still nothing from System Shield. You can see this is where um, not having, I don't think it's got any type of zero day protection uh, implemented. So I'm just infecting this machine. It's, I don't see anything happening. Okay, I've gone through five of them and I haven't seen a single thing from system shield so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in there and turn on that artificial intelligence maybe I'll get some better detection uh, from it so let's try that out because so far this thing hasn't done anything all right Still nothing. Oops. 
see how badly we're infected. Okay, that one didn't work. I see, I don't know. Can't see anything here, but that doesn't mean we're not infected. Let's go to the last one here. Hmm, that one doesn't seem to work. All right, so I got all those in there. And I'm going to do a scan now. And I'll let it scan, see what it finds, if it finds anything. And then I'm going to um, download Hitman Pro, like I normally do. And uh, that's just me deleting a file off my desktop. And then I'll uh, see what Hitman Pro finds. So I'll be back when the scan is done. See you in a second. I did want to show you guys one quick thing here. Um, during scanning, this does eat up a ton of RAM. It's using 141 right now megs and varying. You saw that goes up to 170 something and back and forth. So it does use a lot of resources while scanning. Just want to show you that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, finally, the scan finished here and it said it found no threats. It took forever though for a computer that basically has no software installed on it. Just a standard Windows install. But let's scan with Hitman Pro and see what it finds here. Alright, I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, so I did a scan with Hitman Pro and all it found was things in the temporary internet files folder. It didn't find anything else uh, in other parts of the computer, which is kind of weird. Um, I know these, the system has been infected with a lot of these, um, but it doesn't seem, they don't seem to have spread anywhere. Like, I don't see any of these running in memory. Let's see here. See, everything looks clean in memory. Um, I also did a scan with Malwarebytes, and that didn't find anything completely clean. So, two things could have happened here. One, uh, the system actually got protected by System Shield without it ever once popping up anything that it protected me which is kinda hard to believe. Um, they wouldn't just protect you and not say it ever happened. Um, and if you go here, disinfection history and everything, there's nothing here. Um, well, there's three things that could happen. That, the malware that I tried to load on the virtual machine didn't work, which I doubt it because I had 10 of them. I thought I could hit exactly 10 that didn't work, or they're all so new that they're not being detected by anything um, because they are very, very new. So this is kind of a weird, you know, I can't really say exactly what happened here. Um, you can see by the results, I mean, you guys can come up with your own decision on exactly what happened, which is kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's it for System Shield. Maybe I'll test it again in the future uh, with some other malware, maybe some older things to see if it actually pops up or not. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, everybody take care. I think I'll do one more video.